was basically listening to John Peel's show one night. They're, they were doing the Sony Radio Awards nominations and they said if anyone wanted to write a couple of sentences to explain why they enjoyed the show, uh, they could do that and they would put it all on the, as part of the paperwork and uh, it meant that they didn't have to do it. And there's an incentive, he said, that the best answer would be sent this box of records from his shed. So these are them basically, they're quite, they're quite cool. It's like um, uh, two guys who lived in John Peel's village who used to do like, like, errands for him. They came round to my house with this box of records, but I didn't own a record player. And so basically for about six months, I had this box of records, like, and just kind of, I would just pick them out and look at them and like read them and kind of go through the sleeve notes. And quite often there was like little extra things like posters. Um, and what's that of? That's this is Atom and his package. Oh, amazing! It's quite cool. Which is one of my definitely one of my favourite records in the collection. Atom and his package is just like this dude in America who had to retire from the music industry when his asthma got too bad. And now he's a chemistry teacher in Pennsylvania. And yeah, I just had to have these records and never be able to play them until my mum and dad bought me this. Uh, for my, it was my 21st birthday. And they ordered it from the back cover of the Radio Times. Um, which is pretty rock and roll. And look, I've written Side A on it there. That must mean that I like Side A. <laughs> Because the first thing I did with these records, when I did have a record player, like, I'd just do this basically, sit at home and listen to them, and if someone came onto my house, I'd put the records on and they'd quite like it, they'd be quite interested. But it was just a bit frustrating that I had all of these cool records, but no one really to listen to them, but for me and a few of my mates. And Gradually I kind of I wanted to do something, because it's obviously such a special box of records, and so I went to a community radio station in Norwich called Future Radio and I um, talked to them about maybe doing a show and I told them about my box of records and I recorded five one-hour shows and this is one I like as well. This is definitely art. This is art. Look at this guy. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> that's Walter Gould and his Lavender Brigade. There's a press release which explains that Walter Gould was this band in the 60s who kind of invented um, kind of like the hippie, peaceful music and kind of um, invented the whole genre and then Walter Gould was arrested for indecent exposure, sent to prison and while he was in prison the Beatles released Sgt Peppers and everyone just assumed that Walter Gould was ripping off the Beatles but he basically written an album that was really similar to Sgt Peppers but never got the chance to release it. Um, I found out much later that it's just a lie, that it's just this band from the 90s. I got in trouble because I've been, this is a show called John Your Shed that I've been touring and on Word magazine, uh, on the forums, someone criticised me because I wasn't putting the records back into the sleeve properly afterwards. Um, not unreasonably, they asked me about Oizone. Oizone, they're like this uh, boys own punk cover band. Um, do you want us to hear some of the tracks uh, they've covered? Well, loads of boys own songs, obviously, like obviously. Love Me For A Reason, Father and Son, Words, Classics. <laughs> um, but they they cover You're Gorgeous by Baby Bird, Cell uh, V, um, Earth Song by Michael Jackson, that's a tune. Uh, the nice thing about my show as well is that afterwards people always come and talk to me about radio and that kind of thing. They share often about uh, their own experiences with John Peel or just how important radio is to them. It's one of those things that people don't really discuss that often. So when you hear someone getting quite enthusiastic about radio, it's qu quite a thing that people are suddenly like very aware and go, oh, I've, I've, I've got this story to tell and I know that you'll like it. And it's clearly the story that they don't get to tell it often because it's like just about something very personal about radio. Maybe it's, like, often you kind of get the sense that they've never told anyone it before. And... It, re it really feels quite special, but 
sometimes people just say, can I, that they'll look through the records, like the records are s spread across the floor, and they'll go, can I, um, can I put a record on? And sometimes they just kind of DJ for a bit and put some records on. Like, I hadn't really expected that that would happen, that people would be so affected by radio so much. Like, it is so personal and so, mm. for so many people, like, vital and crucial. Um, but also, like, that quite cool opportunity to just... It's like being at someone's house now, basically, and saying, can I... And just, like, putting, putting whatever... Putting Telefunken on a collection of ice cream vans. Um, but, yeah, Greg James from Radio 1 came to watch it, and Hugh Stevens, who are both presenters that are nice about in my show, and also, I think they're great. Um, so, to get their approval. Sheila came to watch it as well, John Peel's wife, uh, which is obviously very... Uh, like, very strange, but I'm really, like, she was absolutely lovely afterwards and to get her approval meant more than any review or anything like that. Weirdly, the house that I lived in last year, the house that I pretty much wrote John Peel Shed in, the landlords, he, the day that I moved out of my house was the day that I came back from Edinburgh. And he said, oh, I didn't, I knew that you were going to Edinburgh for a month, but I didn't realise you were doing a show about John Peel. Um, I've been in two different bands that have both done Peel sessions. And he said, I've got all of the tapes somewhere, but I should dig them out. And then he came to my Norwich show, and I did it at Norwich Arts Centre. And he emailed me at three o'clock in the morning with links to where I could download the old Peel sessions from his bands. And he said, oh, your show made me go home and that night I just went to the garage, got the old tapes out and I put them all online and I've sent them to the old band members and things like that. And so that's quite cool and just so many people saying that after my show they went into their attic and got their old record player out. <laughs> things like that are quite cool. So, um, but obviously it's, that's not as cool as having celebrities. <laughs> dislocation dance uh, an album called Midnight Shift they're from the 80s um, and they're on Vinyl Japan Records which is a very cool record label it's not very it's a bit of a boring sleeve that's why I like it the four fifths she'll hurt you in the end unreleased recorded in April 66 these teens are already world famous for their perfect jangly teen folk winner if you still want me on Columbia Look how young they are, who never got anywhere. Yeah, she recorded as Transistor 6 and she's just an illustrator and she made like, she only made 50 copies, pressed 50 copies of this EP. But one of them she sent to John Peel and he played it on his show. And like, it's kind of life changing for her. Like just listen, she heard it in the bedroom where she'd recorded it. And like, she's one of the people that I got in touch with to just to say, oh, I'm doing this radio show, this box of records. And yeah, it was amazing hearing the little stories about what an impact it, it was to be played on John Peel. So that, that again, is like mixtape contender. It's this kind of strange, like, other side to kind of like, to, to making it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's because so many of these people had jobs. Like, like, like they had, like, basically, like, they were kind of working bookshops or like, um, there's a band called Girls at Our Best and they released an album, I had a John Peel session and when I was research, like, I researched every band for the radio show and then I found out that, that their bassist Gerard is now a heating engineer in Leeds. Like those kind of things are really fascinating and like generally kind of like moving, like all these people like people who work in offices but then in the evenings they'll all go around to someone's garage and do some record some songs, send them in on tape to John Peel and he'll, if he likes it he'll play it. It's pretty, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty yeah. amazing and, and not something that really exists today. Like that's the interesting thing about John Peel is that after he died lots of people were saying who will take over from John Peel, who will be the next guy, but actually he's not really been replaced by another presenter, he's been replaced by a whole music station, like Six Music is basically doing, like the, the combined efforts of Six Music are doing what John Peel used to do, like that's how good he was, like you had to have a station to replace him. <laughs>